Well, uh, we, uh, thanks to a great group called Bodies the Exhibition, mm -hmm. brought human bodies here with us. Here they are coming out. Uh, we get to name these. Oh. So there's uh, Mr. Split. Oh, OK. Right? <laughs> wow. Now, this is very, very important. Because if you don't really appreciate how your body naturally deals with stress, you can't change the system. Okay. Now, this is a body. By the way, the way we make these uh, are you actually replace water and fat with plastics. So these are literally what it looked like when these people passed away. But the, all the water is gone, so you actually can touch it and feel it and appreciate it. Wow. Uh, now, I want to start off right here. Mr. Split. Right there. Yeah. That little space. Not too obvious, is it? No. OK. That is called the pituitary gland. Oh. And this is the hypothalamus right behind it. This right there uh -huh. is the mind-body connection. Wow. The mind-body connection, of course, is what allows your brain and your body to begin to touch each other. Now, look, lean down here. Yeah. See if you can do this. What? what happens when the hypothalamus and pituitary get stimulated by stress is they turn on this organ right there. That's called the adrenal gland. That gland right there, right above the kidneys, like a dunce cap on the kidneys, uh -huh. actually releases epinephrine, norepinephrine, all these chemicals that get you going up because it's fight or flight. And something's yeah. coming at you, and you're either going to yeah. fight it or you're going to run. Yeah. Now, here's the key part. New word, Vegas. Like, going to Vegas, baby, right? V-A-G-U-S is the vagus nerve. The body always has an antidote to a problem. Too much stress, turns out that the con contracting force is this nerve here, right there. It's a small little nerve. It's located in the middle of the chest called the vagus. It actually comes from the brain. Mm. Now, the body has an autopilot system. Yeah. The autopilot system is revved up by stimulus from stress, and it's calmed back down by this nerve. When the vagus nerve sends Im impulses out, it influences how the whole body works. Let me show you how it does that over here. OK. Who is this? This is Mrs. Body. Mrs. Body. M Mrs. Body, if you look up here, by the way, it's again plastinated. There's the heart, and these yeah. are the lungs. Notice the lungs have dark spots on them. Uh -huh. Cigarette smoker. Cigarette smoker. So here's the vagus nerve coming yeah. down. Where's the thyroid, by the way? Right there. Oh, that's I a little, thought you might ask about that. Yeah, little butterfly. Right, little butterfly right okay. there. Now, by the way, notice the vagus nerve gives a branch off to the, vag to the thyroid. It also gives a branch to your vocal cords. Okay. That's how you speak. Right. This nerve sends branches to the heart, the lungs, the intestinal tract. And what it's saying is that it can calm you down. But what we never knew until recently was that three-fourths of what the vagus does is bring information back to you. And sometimes when there's too much content coming back, when you get those butterflies in your stomach, when everything's falling out, your brain short circuits. It can't cope with all the information flowing back from the wandering nerve. That's what vagus means, wandering. Now, here's a couple other little tips for you. This right here is right. a diaphragm. Got See it. how thick that is? Right. Now compare yeah. that to the little itty-bitty muscles here in between your ribs. Uh -huh. When you take a deep breath, which is one of the ways we calm the vagus, we use this big, big, thick muscle, right? Yeah. Stomach goes out because the vagus comes down. Keep it. And last thing, guess what that is? We've talked about it before. Omentum. Omentum, right? Now, the omentum, notice, is in the belly. When you have a lot of stress, the body naturally will build up fat. Why? Because it thinks you're starving. Because a 1,000 years ago, that's what stress meant. It's right next to the liver, which is here. So it can quickly ship in all the fat, all the calories you that's need. That's the liver right there. That's the liver right there. And there's the stomach here, too. Wow. Now, when you understand the vagus, all of a sudden, it should be going off in your mind. The body has a natural built-in antidote to stress. Key is, how do I tap into it? That's the lesson. I bet I know. Tell me. Meditation. Meditation's key. Absolutely essential. The foundation prayer. Yeah. Things that allow you to, get, to focus on what's reality and knock off the small stuff. Yeah. That can strip decades, literally, off your life. Yeah. But See, people used to think it was like, oh, but it really is a lifesaver. One of the most important lessons I ever learned from you, and I still am, you know, I think I know the lesson, and then I'll walk into a situation and think that's that same lesson, and that is when people show you who they are, believe them. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.